Hi, this is Brian Bennett for CNET.com, and right now we're taking a first look at the Motorola Droid Ultra. The Ultra sits smack dab in the middle of Motorola's new Droid smartphone lineup on Verizon. Available starting August 20th for $199.99, the Ultra is the thinnest Droid smartphone ever, less than a third of an inch, in fact, yet manages to pack a large 5-inch screen, 4G LTE data, Android Jelly Bean, plus a lot of slick tricks made possible by Google. Motorola's new master. Highlights include a massive 5-inch 720p OLED screen that has bright colors and deep blacks. It has an attractive edge-to-edge -edge design and is framed by a 2-megapixel front camera. Below the display are three capacitive buttons for Android functions. The only physical buttons are a volume rocker and power key on the phone's right side. A 3.5mm headphone jack sits up top, while a micro USB port is placed on the bottom edge. On back is the main 10 megapixel camera with LED flash. Also here is a large speaker that actually gets really loud. Before you use this phone though, I suggest you clean your hands. That's because both the smooth back surface and screen of the Ultra pick up fingerprints and grease smears easily. Motorola says the Droid Ultra is built using a Kevlar unibody construction for greater protection against drops and spills. That's a good thing since the handset does feel pretty slippery. Powering the Droid Ultra's Android software is Motorola's new X8 mobile computing system, the same setup on the Moto X. Despite being based on a dual-core CPU, the Ultra feels quick and responsive. It also has discrete quad-core Adreno graphics, plus a processor for interpreting natural language and one for contextual computing. All that hardware helps the Droid Ultra do tricks like listen out for your verbal commands and conduct advanced Google searches and hands-free navigation. The camera app is easy to use too, featuring a simplified interface while offering handy modes such as HDR and panorama. You can even twist the phone twice in your wrist to wake the Ultra up and jump directly to the camera. The Droid Ultra, however, does have a few pain points. First, it only comes with 16 gigabytes of onboard storage and lacks an SD card slot to add more. Its battery is also embedded and not user removable. Verizon loads the device up, too, with its standard selection of junky bloatware. I'm Brian Bennett for CNET.com, and this has been a first look at the Motorola Droid Ultra.